Hi, my name is Tom Goss, and you're watching The Bubble. The moon and the steeple Cast shadows underneath And then pulse far too I was always an athlete and I grew up as an athlete and I always excelled in, as an athlete, but I needed a different kind of outlet. And so I, uh, um, when I was a senior in high school, I started becoming obsessed with Dave Matthews Band. So I wanted to uh, play every single Dave Matthews song ever written. I started going uh, from city to city following his shows and I just wanted to play the guitar in the parking lot and that was really my goal. Um, and so I became just completely and utterly obsessed with Dave Matthews through college so I could go to dozens and dozens of shows and um, and show people that I could play every single one of his songs. <laughs> That's really how the obsession started. So with the, with the Dave Matthews influence, did that influence you musically as far as what you were going to do or just the interest in the music? Both, really. And I would say that was in a good way and a bad way. I mean, I think it really... Uh, taught me a lot about writing stuff that was different and I think that was a detriment to me for a long time. I used to, I used to write a lot of songs trying to emulate Dave Matthews and um, if you don't know anything about how he writes, his, his chord structures and his song structures are a little strange. So, I've, so as a result of being obsessed with Dave Matthews' band, I was a really shitty songwriter for a long time. And then I started getting into a little more straightforward songwriters like David Gray, Ben Fold, Jack Johnson, Jason Mraz, Damian Rice, really guitar, guitar centric um, songwriters and, and they were doing something totally different than Dave Matthews and, and especially like David Gray was taking two chords and ripping out my heart with those two chords and I, I, just, I just realized like oh, uh, being um, difficultly different for the sake of being difficultly different doesn't make a good song. That's what I thought it was. Like, how okay, this is how it should sound, but how do I make it strange and how do I make it different? And and I realized like you can write a really beautiful song with a C chord and a G chord and 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 really let the melody and the lyrics um, pull the listener in. And so after I after I started exploring uh, more writers who were using a lot more simple techniques is when I started becoming a stronger songwriter myself. So you have you have new music out. Can you talk about a little bit about that in the single that you have out right now? Uh, so I have a whole new record out. It's called Territories, and uh, it's a it's a huge departure for me. I would say that the the majority of my career has been really acoustic driven pop rock, and I really wanted to take a, a sharp left turn on this record. And um, and so, like I said, I went to the keys, and I really wanted to use a lot more space and a lot more and a lot less instruments and create a much moodier record. So Territories. Um, Territories tells the tale of my opening of my relationship and um, falling in love with another man and trying to um, trying to understand and live with this idea of being in, romantically in love with two people at the same time. Not only that, how how that affects uh, your, your all the relationships. My relationship with my husband, my relationship with my lover, my relationship with my lover's husband, or their relationship with one another. And um, it was really a challenge to to take all these new feelings and, and feelings that we don't really have. Um, any social guidance as to how we're supposed to, you know, we're, we're told like, if you fall in love with somebody else, you break up your relationship and you go with that person, or you break up the relationship with the person and you stay with your husband. Um, but we don't really, we don't really talk about these, all these other different kind of relationships that are happening around us all the time. So I didn't really have a framework for how to understand what was happening to me. The new single called Berlin is really the jumping off point for the record because it, tell, it tells the story of me going to Berlin for the weekend and falling in love. And uh, I went to Berlin for the weekend to meet a friend. Uh, we had an amazing time. We fell in love. And when I was walking out the door, he said, I love you. And to my surprise, I said, I love you too. And that was true and that was honest. And it, it completely turned my world upside down because 
now what do you do? Um, so that's that's the, the, the new single Berlin. What's interesting about your music as far as the songwriting is like when you when I talk to gay artists and they write love songs, they come off ambiguous, but yours was very specific in the way that you wrote it. And how important was that for you to get that message across? I mean, it's very important. Like I said, what I want to do is, is, is paint a picture and, and, and lead the listener into that picture. I want to create an entire atmosphere so that the person can be living in the emotionality in which I'm creating. I think, um, I think that ambiguous pop music is fine. I think it's great. I think it serves a really wonderful purpose. But I also think there's a, a, a purpose to, to speaking truth and authenticity and, 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 and giving the listener um, an insight into a world that is not their own. And by doing that, giving them a, an insight into a world that is not their own, the listener becomes more understanding, uh, less judgmental, more able to be a malleable thinker. I, I, don't, I, I don't have the answers and I don't pretend to have any of the answers, but I would love to, to, to spend my career posing questions having conversations, um, speaking my story, and in turn, listening to other people's stories. Hi, my name is Tom Goss, and you've just been buzzed.